Hi, welcome to Smart Art. Today, we're going to be featuring Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali was part of an art movement called Surrealism, which blended the worlds of dream and reality. Surrealists saw art as a way to explore their own unconscious minds. One of my favorite Salvador Dali quotes is, have no fear of perfection, you'll never reach it. Let's make a mustache, Salvador Dali style. Before we begin our presentation, we need to first make our mustache, Salvador Dali style. Dali was an eccentric person who liked unique style his mustaches. So please, grab your pipe cleaner. Then, bend it into a mustache like the photo on the slide so that it can fit inside your nose. Now have your own Salvador Dali mustache. Salvador Dali was born in Figaro, Spain on Ma May 11, 1904, which is located 16 miles from the French border in the foothills of the Pyrenees Mountains. His birth name was Salvador Felipe Jacinto Dali y Dominic, and he shortened to Salvador Dali. His father was a lawyer and was very strict, but his mother was kinder and encouraged Salvador's love for art. Growing up, he enjoyed drawing and playing football. He often got into trouble for daydreaming in school. His sister, Anna Marie, would often act as a model for his paintings. On this slide, you can see a photo of Dolly and his family in 1910. We can see his Aunt Marie, Teresa, his mother, his father, Salvador Dolly, and Aunt Catherine, who later became the second wife of his father and his sister, Anna, Anna Maria, and his grandmother, Anna. Salvador Dolly's early years. Dolly's older brother, who was nine months older than him, died of gastroenteritis. His older brother's name was also Salvador Dolly. When the younger Salvador was five years old, his parents took him to the grave of his older brother and told him that he was his brother's reincarnation. Dolly called, we reassemble each other like two drops of water, but we had different reflections. He was probably the first version of myself. Salvador created the portrait of my dead brother painting in 1963, which is shown on the slide to pay homage to his late brother. Dolly, Dolly began drawing and painting when he was young. He painted outdoor scenes, primarily sailboats and houses, and portraits of people. As a teen, he experimented with modern painting styles such as Impressionism. At 17, he moved to Madrid, Spain to study at the Academy of Fine Arts, a famous art school. In art school, he lived a wild life. He grew his hair long and had big sideburns. He often wore makeup and hung out with a radical group of artists and got into trouble. When he was close to school graduation, he was expelled for causing problems with the teachers. He felt that none of the teachers, teachers at his school were smart enough to evaluate his knowledge. Not long after that, he was imprisoned for a short time for opposing the dictatorship of Spain. During these times, Dolly experimented and studied different types of art. He explored classic art, uh, Cubanism, Judaism, and other avant-garde painters. Eventually, Dolly became an incredible interest in surrealism by studying the art of famous surrealistic artists, including Rene Mar Marguerite and Joan Miro. He would soon become one of the Freeman, Freeman artists of the surrealistic movement. So what is surrealism and what does it mean? Surrealism started as a cultural movement in 1924 with the French poet André Breton. Surrealism translates to above realism in French, well, from French to English. Surrealists believe that the subconscious mind, such as dreams and random thoughts, held secrets to truth. The surrealism movement had an impact on film, poetry, music, and art. Surrealist paintings are often a mixture of strange objects 
like melting clocks and weird blobs, and perfectly normal looking objects that are out of place, like a lobster on a telephone. Surrealistic paintings can be shocking, interesting, beautiful, or just plain weird. This is The Persistence of Memory that Salvador Dali made in 1931. By 1930, he had become a famous, he had become famous in the surrealistic movement. One of his well-known paintings was, and perhaps the best known surrealistic work was the one seen above, The Persistence of Memory, which he made in 1931. This painting was inspired by hot, by one hot August day that Dolly spent eating Cambrai cheese in the sun. The clocks are melting like how his Cambrai cheese melted on that hot day. It's said that the painting is symbolistic, symbolic in many ways. There are many questions you see with the painting. How many clocks do you see? If you said four, you'd be correct. Why are the clocks melting? And why are the clocks in the desert? And where are all the people? What is the meaning of the beige face-like feature on the ground? Well, actually the beige face-like feature on the ground is interpreted to be a self-portrait of Dolly. The painting is full of symbolism. The three clocks in the painting symbolize the past, present, and future, while the fourth clock lies face down and undistorted and may symbolize objective time. The egg that lies in the distant shore of, is symbolic of life, which, like memory, has the potential to persist despite the breakdown or distor distortion of time. The insects, a fly on one, on one clock face, and the ants on the face down clock, signify death, disintegration, and a parasitic relationship with time. The broken branch in the painting, which experts believe is an, is, olive, is an olive tree, represents the demise of ancient wisdom and the death of peace, reflecting the political crime between the two world wars, World War I and World War II, and the unrest leading to the Spanish Civil War in Dolly's native country. The Metamorphosis of Narcissus, painted in 1937, is Dolly's interpretation of the Greek myth of Narcissus. It portrays Narcissus' transformation from man to a flower. From the folk tale, Nar Narcissus stooped to get a drink of water but become hopelessly in love with his own reflection and stays there until his death. In Dolly's depiction, Narcissus' arched bodies looking down in dismay is mirrored by a rock sculpt on the right of the painting. The left side of the painting depicts an almost abstract, yellow, human-like figure sitting on the ground and looking into a reflective palm. This is Dolly's reflection of the narcissist complanting his own image in, in the water. On the right side of the painting, we see narcissist after his transformation. The human figure becomes a hand holding an egg. The daffodil flower, known as the narcissist flower, is growing from the egg. The hand looks fossilized and the water from the pond has become muddy ground. The petals on the flower have black stains as if the beauty of the daffodil was no longer pure. The side with the egg and the flower represents life, while narcissist sides beginning barren and de desolate, almost like a desert representing death. Elephant Symbolism The elephant is a reoccurring theme in Dolly's paintings. This painting represents a distortion in space. The elephant's spindly legs contrast the idea that weightlessness with structure. Swans Reflecting Elephants. This was painted in 1937. This focuses on a double image that causes the reflections of the swan on swans on the pond to look like elephants. Can you find the three hidden elephants in, and Dolly's self-portrait? Take a closer look.
If you look closely at the swans where my cursor is, you can see that the reflection of them, the reflection of their bodies in the lake look like the ears and the trunks of the elephants and the reflection of the trees behind them look like the legs. This is the trunk and here are the ears and here are the legs. Then here's another ears, trunk and the body and the legs. And the third one is from the side. So this is the trunk of the third elephant and the head and the body. Could you find Dolly's hidden self-portrait? If you look in the middle on the left where my cursor is, you can see him. What's he looking at? And why is he looking away from the swans? Final years. Salvador Dali died in 1989 at the age of 87. Dali's near senile wife, Gala Dali, allegedly gave him a dangerous cocktail of an unprescribed medicine that damaged his nervous system, thus causing and ultimately ending his artistic capacity. He is buried in, okay, what was, it was like fear Figaro. No one can say that, Figaro, Spain. Okay. okay, start one more time. Ready? Figaro, Spain. Figaro, Figaro, Spain. Wait, will you start again? Yeah. One more time. Okay. Okay. Final years. Salvador Dali died in 1989 at the age of 87. Dolly's near senile wife, Gala Dolly, allegedly gave him a dangerous cocktail of an unprescribed medication that damaged his nervous system, thus causing and ultimately ending his artistic capacity. He is buried in Figueroa, Spain, across the street from the Church of St. Perret, where he had his baptism, his first communion, and funeral, and it is three blocks away from the house where he was born. Now let me put my Dolly mustache back on for this one. Here are some unusual facts about Salvador Dolly. He had an intense fear of grasshoppers. He didn't know how to count money. When he was in public, he would jump up and down to get attention. He was afraid to expose his feet. He liked his wife because she changed her clothes three times a day. All of the watches in Persistence of Memory held different times. He was famous for his long curly mustache. He wrote an autobiography called The Secret Life of Salvador Dali. Some of the stories in the book are actually true, but some are just made up. Dali admired scientist Albert Einstein and was especially interested in his theory of relativity. And finally, he worked on a film with movie director Alfred Hitchcock. Thank you so much for joining, much for joining us today. We hope to see hope you next time. Next time. Bye.